The last two games, obviously, have not been too hot. Um, but uh, today, I thought we played better. It was a fight to the finish. The Boston Celtics faced off against the Philadelphia 76ers on their second night of a back-to-back. -back. Now the Seas, they look like themselves more offensively, shooting 44% from the field and taking a seven-point lead heading into halftime. But in the third quarter, we saw some slippage as the Sixers went on an 11-0 run. And even with Marcus Smart canning a three to close out the third quarter and Kemba Walker and Smart combining for a total of 50 points, the Sixers, they prevailed with the win 109-98. to They clearly, you know, just wanted it more. You know, we had a good start, um, but, you know, we just didn't, we didn't maintain. We didn't maintain our play um, until things you know, kind of started going against us. And, you know, we just got to learn how to, you know, close games out better. Yeah. I think we need to up our intensity and we need to respond, you know, coming out our next game. I don't think all is lost. The season is not over. Um, I think that we played some good basketball tonight. I think we got some shots that need to go in. I think they're going to go in. Um, and I think we're going to come back and bounce back versus New Orleans at home. You know, they're hard to score on, but um, I thought we generated decent looks. And, I, again, I'm... I'm um, the last two games obviously have not been too hot, um, but uh, today I thought we played better. Now we did see Kemba Walker leave the game because of a left thumb sprain. He did return to action and he said post game that the plan is he's not going to have any further testing done tomorrow because he was able to tape up the thumb and he feels completely fine. The Celtics will now look to end their three game losing skid on Saturday night against the New Orleans Pelicans.